So gravel by the bag, homeowner can do this themselves. Gravel by the bag is a little bit more expensive than when you go to the, the gravel yard and buy it, but it's so much easier to move, especially for the homeowner. Each bag weighs about 40 pounds. You can see we just pour it out into the trench. Remember, we've already got a base of gravel underneath. This is all gravel perforated pipe, runs all the way around. Let's take a look at how this system actually works. You know, gravel perforated pipe, it's the simplest thing in the world. But let's take a look. Let me show you how it works. And you can see there's holes on the one side of the pipe. This is the perforation. These holes point down. We'll set that into the trench. As it rains, water comes down through the gravel and floods up into your pipe and it will enter those holes which are on the bottom. If those holes are pointing upward, that water has to rise all the way up here before it can enter the hole. So we put our holes pointing down and now we're going to cover it up with gravel. Now let's just simulate by putting our garden hose out here and see how long that water, how long it takes for the water to get through the pipe, through the gravel. Pretty good rainfall. We're adding water to the gravel. Water goes down through the gravel to the bottom of the trench and will eventually begin to flow. It flows through the gravel first because there are voids in the gravel, but as we add more water directly, it will start to flow through the pipe. And that's why holes point down. You can see the water coming through the holes. Floods up from the bottom of the trench into the pipe and is carried away. So we've got a tiny little base of gravel down in the back. You'll notice that we've got our perforated pipe. You see the holes in here. We point those holes down into the trench and then we'll go ahead and hook it up. And the reason that the holes point down is because water is going to flood from the bottom of the trench up into those holes. We're going to put gravel on top but if all the water drops through the gravel and then comes up in the bottom of the trench. You can see that little green line. If you've got a line on the top of your pipe, you'll know that you can just hook it up. That'll be at the top of the pipe. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put a T on there. We've got our line coming back here to the catch basin. Nice catch basin installed back here. That picks up any excess surface water. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. You can see the water coming through the holes. Floods up from the bottom of the trench into the pipe and is carried away.